Yeah, we're very interested in the effect that the uh, bone marrow uh, environment has on multiple myeloma cells. We've known for a long time that there are patients that don't fare as well with the therapies we have to offer today. And we've known about different high-risk features, mainly cytogenetics, but there's always been a notion uh, informed by other cancers as well that the environment that the bone marrow plasma cells live in may have an important effect on that. We knew from older studies that these cells can protect the myeloma cells from probably some of the chemotherapy drugs that we use today, but also from some of the newer immunotherapies that are uh, now picking up in, in practice. And so one of the questions that we had is, are there changes that are uh, induced by the environment in the malignant plasma cells that are dynamic. And so the way that we set up the experiments for this is uh, to see what happens when these um bone marrow stromal cells in the environment come in contact with the myeloma cells, and we indeed found that they remodel the epigenome, and that probably supports a certain type of gene expression. We found that some of the genes that are expressed after contact with the uh, bone marrow microenvironment in the myeloma cells are related to high-risk features. So these patients, uh, similar to other high-risk features that we knew about, don't do as well with the therapies we give today. And so we were very interested in that because these changes seem to be dynamic, meaning they m might be uh, reversible. So in in our quest to look for new therapies. Um, we are hoping to understand a little bit more about the biology behind this saying, if the bone marrow microenvironment stimulates the expression of these genes, maybe we can find ways to target that and overcome this effect. And when we uh, looked at this in larger um, series of patients that have newly diagnosed disease, we found that probably in the realm of 20 to 30 percent of the patients, we find some of that gene expression signal that uh, portends high-risk uh, features. And in those patients, um, we're now trying to understand, are there targets that we can address, maybe with new small, small molecule drugs that could be added to current treatments in myeloma, and that might be able to overcome this negative effect that we've seen. And that is ongoing work currently.